What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Soul Vice. I'm Stephen Webb. Back in February of 2018, Jordan was nice enough to retro the Black Cement 3. And while the Black Cement 3 has been retroed over the years numerous times, it had been almost 17 years since we'd seen it the way that it should be, with Nike Air on the heel tab. That detail alone made almost every sneakerhead happy. From the casual sneakerhead, to the hype beast, to a true Jordan purist, there really wasn't anything for anybody to complain about. I mean, let's be honest, it's the internet, so there were people complaining about some things. But overall, everybody was extremely happy to finally get the Black Cement 3 the way that it was intended. Now, something you guys should know, the Black Cement 3 is my all-time grail. I don't think there's a sneaker that looks better. I don't think that there's a sneaker more timeless. I think this is it. Growing up, I actually didn't know anything about Jordans. I knew who Michael Jordan was. I knew the logo. I knew that there were shoes with that logo. But other than that, I pretty much didn't know anything about them. I didn't know the history. I couldn't point out a Jordan to save my life. When I was growing up, the shoes that I wanted were skate shoes. My brother was a skater, so I was exposed to shoes like DC, America, Vans, and my personal favorite, S's. As some would improperly say, ES's. The original Costin and Muska S's, I would have killed to have a pair of those. But unfortunately, I was a pretty big kid who was growing quickly, so understandably my parents didn't want to fork out the big bucks for those kinds of shoes. Now don't get me wrong, I still love those shoes, and it's actually my love of those shoes that really made this shoe stand out. When I first saw pictures of this, I instantly had flashbacks of those old shoes. I could really see where those skate shoes from the 90s and early 2000s got their inspiration. The construction of the shoes is very similar with the layered uppers and padded sock liner and tongue. They were just so similar and I could instantly see the resemblance. So when they released back in February of 2018, I absolutely had to get a pair. So since I've had them for a little over a year, I kind of wanted to revisit them and also go over pros and cons of the shoe itself after a year of wearing them. So let's take a look at the Black Cement 3. Starting with the upper, we've got this black tumbled looking leather that covers most of the shoe. I say tumbled looking because it's not really tumbled leather, it's just stamped to make it look like it is. Now when I said earlier that it was the internet and people complained, I think really the only one complaint that I heard was the leather. Some people weren't a fan of it, but to me it's not terrible. It's definitely not the best leather I've ever seen, but it's also definitely not the worst. It's not too stiff, it still flexes with your feet, I think it's fine. And we've also got a few panels of cement gray leather. So right here around the ankle collar, right here on each side under the black plastic lace eyelets, and then of course the tongue as well. The cement gray continues to the interior of the shoe with the padded sock liner. And then we've also got our Varsity Red hits. So we've got the Varsity Red Jumpman with the red on the back of the tongue. And then we've also got one of the most recognizable features, which are the red eyelets here. The only detail of this shoe that stands out more than those red eyelets is the elephant print. You've got elephant print all the way across the toe, and then of course all the way around the heel as well. Moving on to the midsole, it's mostly a white midsole, but you do have the cement gray that kind of creeps up around the front here with that legendary star print that we've seen on other shoes like Dunks and Air Force Ones. And then of course you've got the black heel stripe. Another key detail of the shoe is the visible air unit. The Jordan 3 was the first Jordan that actually had a visible air unit, and since Nike's legacy is mostly built off of Nike Air, it's really cool to see that they implemented it here on the Jordan 3. And then we've got the outsole. This outsole is probably my favorite Air Jordan outsole. It just screams 80s, and I love that. And it's got this really cool, interesting, kind of aggressive traction pattern. And then of course, another OG detail that could not be forgotten, You've got the Nike branding here on the outsole in Varsity Red. And then of course you've got that heel tab with the Nike Air. And it is a must have detail for a true OG retro of the Black Cement 3. And the last OG detail of the shoe that can't be forgotten is the Varsity Red insole with the Nike Air branding. So after a year of owning the Black Cement 3, what are my pros and cons? Well, we'll start with the cons. There's really only two cons that I can think of with this shoe. The first is that it's pretty heavy. On a long day where you're gonna be doing a lot of walking, at the end of the day, you might have a little bit of foot fatigue. But overall, I actually think the Black Cement 3 is a fairly comfy shoe, especially thinking about the fact that it came out in 1988. 
The second thing that I can say is kind of a con is that this shoe can get hot. All the padding and the leather that it has, during the summer your feet will be sweating in this shoe. Especially in Southern California where I'm at where we get summers that it gets up to 120 degrees sometimes. During those days, you might want to pick something else. So what are the pros? for the Black Cement 3. Well, the first one is easy. This shoe looks amazing. Again, it's my grail. I don't think there's a shoe that looks better. And on top of that, it's super easy to match with pretty much anything. It's black, white, gray, and red. Doesn't get much easier than that. And I've also got to say another pro is this shoe is super durable. Since it came out in 2018, I can say this is probably the shoe that I've worn the most, if not maybe second or third most, but it's got a lot of wear and miles on it and it's held up really well. There's hardly any creasing on the toe box. There's no sagging or stretching in the leather. The paint on the midsole is still intact. Really, the only way you can tell that I've worn this shoe extensively is the outsole. The finer details in the tread pattern have kind of started to wear away. But other than that, I, I don't know. I think this shoe pretty much looks DS. So that about wraps it up. The 2018 Black Cement 3. Again, this is my grail. And I want to know what's yours. So in the comments, let me know what's your grail. Is it the Black Cement 3? Is it something else? Is it in your collection already, or are you still waiting to get your hands on it? And do me a favor, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up, it really helps. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button, and check the bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.